On this rather inconspicuous business park in Hampshire, Britain's future military surveillance satellites are being developed. Step inside and there's a clue to what goes on here, an ops room where they monitor a handful of satellites orbiting the Earth. But it's in here, in what they call the clean room, where the real technological wizardry happens. They may be small, about the size of a cereal box, but these are actually satellites. And later this year, two CubeSats like these will be sent into orbit. The first ever launch of a commercial rocket from Western Europe. Now they're carrying a payload of military grade surveillance kit. The idea being they will demonstrate to the MOD what these can do so that down the line the UK can develop its own sovereign observation capability rather than using the satellites of other countries like America as it does now. The Prometheus 2 mission is a collaboration between DSTL, the MOD's own science laboratory, and Airbus. The satellites will be used to test a range of different cameras, lasers and GPS systems. A first step, it's hoped, toward Britain developing its own homegrown space programme. The important thing with satellites is the reach. Well, reach and resilience, actually. So it you know, can be quite difficult to fly a UAV over certain regions. Um, a satellite will go over a certain point on the Earth every two or three days, depending on how you design it. If you put several of them up, you can get over the same region every few hours. So this is something that you couldn't do uh, easily with a UAV, and certainly it's not very responsive. You can move more towards you know, the, the dream of persistent surveillance, uh, which you just can't do if you're flying a, a UAV system. What we're offering now is taking the state of the art that's available uh, in the terrestrial world, seeing how we can put that onto spacecraft uh, and fly it, and then start examining what capabilities that brings to the MOD. If all goes to plan, the satellites will spend the next five years travelling in low Earth orbit, 340 miles above the planet. They'll operate as a pair, 50 or so miles apart, beaming back data as they circle the globe at 17,000 miles an hour. Boarded the airplane and taxied out and took off from Mojave Air and Spaceport. The satellites are being launched from this, Virgin Orbit's Launcher 1, a rocket carried under a modified Boeing 747, nicknamed Cosmic Girl. So the, the upper stage of the launch vehicle will take them to the insertion orbit, and then these two spacecraft will be packed into a dispenser, which will then eject them off of the top of the upper stage of the rocket, and, then, and that dictates where they're going to fly. Uh, the timing of the separation of the two spacecraft will dictate you know, their relative position in space to start with, and then using our propulsion system, we can, we can then control it to a certain extent to, to make a cooperative operation between the two spacecraft. But the launch is expected to take place in late August or early September. For this small company, which was recently acquired by BAE Systems, it will be a huge moment, a chance to help the UK Armed Forces gain a technological edge while also inspiring a new generation of British space scientists. Simon Newton, Forces News, Hampshire. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.